What's up, Manny Giggs? Hey. <laughs> Episode 18 of the Edcast. Yeah. You're with us. Um, for those of you who listen regularly, you'll probably um, yeah. yeah, you'll, you'll probably <laughs> um, understand that our audio has gotten a little bit better. Shout out to um, I think Mayono mics, mi- microphones. They I, I'm not obviously not affiliated with them or anything, but like <laughs> sponsored. Yeah, like um, not any yeah, I'm not making money. I actually lost money, but. They're pretty. They're pretty dope. I mean, they were like twenty dollars microphones, and like they clip right to your like lapel or your shirt or whatever, and they sound really fucking good. It sounds better than like I, I've been using, like that mic up there. It's called like a Shure SM fifty seven, and you'll hear like a lot of. It's like it a. Sounds like a gun. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a gun. Yeah, kinda, but like, you'll hear a lot about like basically. Anytime you go up to anytime you go to a show where you see like a microphone on stage. Not like eight, there's an eighty percent chance that's an SM58, and that's like the classic like vocal mic, and that's kind of like its instrument counterpart, and it still works for vocals, but it's just not, it doesn't it's pop. As well. Yeah, it's it doesn't music. doesn't pop as much. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a great mic for like miking like a guitar amp or something, but yeah, for vocals it's not great. But damn man, I mean I haven't seen you in, well, it's gotta be, forever. seven months. Well, I haven't been more than home. that. I haven't been home for six months, and it's, we didn't see each other for Christmas break. Like, I don't know. If we yeah, did. no, we I don't da- think we did. Maybe we did, but brief, not brief. not at your house. Maybe someplace else. Yeah. But I mean, it's been you know forever. I mean, I know you've been in the Air Force. My man Manny is um is in the United States Air Force. Yeah. Thank you for your service, sir. Um, so you know what's been what's been up? What what have you been doing the past six Dude. months? Let me know. It's lonely, man. Really? Yeah, it's lonely, but I mean, yeah, I mean, you, know, it, it, you got your boys, right? Yeah, like, yeah. but it, I mean, it's not the same. When yeah. You come home, it's just like it's different. Relief, your family. Like yeah, because there's no one down there. I mean, yeah, I mean, I have met great people in the Air Force, and there are great people that are down there in Georgia. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, like my best friends, basically, mm-hmm. too. So it's like, but I mean, there's just like a certain type of connection you have with your family. Doesn't. Oh yeah, of course. Home. Yeah. It's just a different animal, you know. Yeah, I've thought about that too because like after college and like in the future, I kind of I've I've had a plan in the back of my head to like go out to the West Coast and just try to like further my career out there. You just want to make a name for yourself. Yeah, exactly, but I mean, also I feel like I would miss my family it's a lot. Because it's almost like when you're doing something and you're being successful or you're trying to become successful, it's hard to not have that I mean, like, they still support me and everything, but, like, it's different when you don't have that support system right there. Yeah. Like, acknowledging almost every, like, feat that you accomplish. Especially on the hard days. Yeah, exactly. Um, I would assume, yeah. yeah. That shit makes lot, it tougher, lot, though. Yeah, it does. It really does, because when, you, when you're when you going on and you're becoming independent, it's a lot easier to, um, I guess, be there for yourself. You know yeah, what I'm understood, like, you, yeah. You have, like, you don't need to rely on other people as much, and that allows you to become more independent and... Which I've probably and more mature. Mm-hmm. Which I've, I'm glad that I have the opportunity to do at a young age. Yeah. I'm not, not not like a knock on you guys, but I know a lot of like friends are still like living because you know, they're going to college, so you're living at home. And yeah. Like, kinda either Everybody's got a different. Or even if when you're living at school and you come back, you're still. Yeah. Living. I used to say that shit like when you like not even to like suck your dick, mm-hmm. but like I when when you decided on that, I used to think like because I feel like. As, you know, as intelligent as, like, some of our friends were and some of the people we went to school with and stuff were, I feel like everybody was very Mm one-track-minded. And with what I wanted to do, I mean, I was kind of, I was kind of, I was kind of in, like, the middle of nowhere. I mean, like, I knew my mom always wanted me to go to college. Like, I just knew my parents would be so on my case. Unless, really, unless maybe if I joined the military or something. But, like, also just, like, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do with college, but I also knew... That like besides college or not, I always have been interested in entertainment mm-hmm. and just like media and shit like that. So when I found something, when I found some avenues in college where I could explore that, I knew like I'm like all right, I need some type of credibility for this. You know what I mean? Like I like some type of experience. yeah. Some so like here. so like, I just knew that it was right for me. Because that's what's marketable experience. Yeah. Like, so college is great, but if you have all college and no experience, you're not gonna get a job anyway. Yeah, yeah. Or and just not even. Not only just getting a job, but building your own business, yeah, yeah and being your own boss. Be proficient at it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what it all comes down to. If you're not proficient at what you do, you're not going to be successful. Yeah, definitely. And that's in any field. 
But like getting back to my point, like I remember when you said you were going into the Air Force, I was just thinking like that's such a smart plan because like they 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 take care of your benefits, your housing, and all this. Yeah, and like yeah, exactly. Like I don't think I don't think a lot of people realize like that yeah, it's you're a learning but at the same time yeah i'm gonna be is i'm gonna be extremely marketable when i get out if i get out after six years if i the more time i spend in the military i'm going to just benefit more from it yeah and also the fact that like financially and just like personally yeah just know? personal growth and like also i don't think people realize that how much you're actually learning you know what i'm saying like about myself about people yeah. About, um, just how things really operate and how. Uh, Let me see. I don't know. Sorry. No, you're good. I just don't know if. Speak again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ligma. Do that one more time. Ligma. I can't tell if your mic is being picked up. Um, let me try something real fast. For, for my viewers out there, I want you to turn down your headphones like turn down your shit because this is probably to be kind of loud have anyone watching right now? no this is just this oh. is just pre-recorded ah. but uh, let me see i don't know if this is going to be loud well because i was watching like now my mic's back on, right? Okay. If you watch this little, so now like obviously I've upgraded the microphones for the podcast. There's a um a audio interface too. No, it's fine. That's all is fine. That how it goes? Yeah, just leave your mic the way it is. But like, see how see how this is showing me the signal. If this turned red, if this thing, thing turned red, it would be clipping. But that's just the signal. See? Okay. But yours wasn't coming up, so I oh, think. Oh shit! You're holding it. I was like, yeah. why is my mic connecting to your mic? I think yours was just being. I think yours wasn't being picked up, and just mine was. But if I do this... That's weird, because I can hear myself in the it headphones. It just clipped again, but... Really? Yeah. See, I can hear you, too. I don't know. Maybe I'm just fucking dumb. But now, like, speak. Hey. Yeah, so you, now yeah, you're... It's back to normal. Yeah, so now maybe. you're getting picked up again. Maybe I just hold it closer to my face. Is that louder? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean... I don't know. I wouldn't really worry about it. I was just... It Maybe it just takes a lot for this to show up. Ah. But anyway, ah. I'll just leave it like that yeah, for now. It looks now. a little I'm delayed. Not, yeah, I'll just leave it like that for now. I'm not going to fuck with your guys' ears anymore. But, yeah, back to what we were speaking about. Um, I guess just, you know, and you know what I wanted to talk about? Uh, like how you're saying a lot of the stuff you do and, like, a lot of the hard days or a lot of the things you accomplish or, like, there's nobody really around. It's just yeah, you. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the, the if, hardest part. But you've probably been learning a lot about yourself, I'm sure, and, like, for sure. developing. For uh, sure. Because, like, I've over the past year, like obviously I haven't been in the military, but mm -hmm. like just through like the shit that I've kind of been going through, it's just day to day stuff. Just yeah, just like between like the relate my relationships with other people and school and stuff, I really learned that like because I feel like for years I would kind of put other people like I don't want to say put other people before me exactly, but like say I got tied up with somebody in like a relationship mm -hmm. or this or that, I would put their needs before mine and I would just kind of like. I, f I didn't really realize it, but I was kind of just neglecting my yeah. own self and my Your own priorities. Feelings. And then someone told me this, one of my best friend's uh, wife, he, uh, she said, you should not be, you should not feel guilty for your feelings. You should not, someone else shouldn't, you shouldn't hold yourself, no, you should hold yourself accountable for your, for your feelings. But you shouldn't feel bad for the way you feel you know yeah. what i'm saying like for someone else that's the best way i could explain it she explains it a lot better than i do no i completely agree like you shouldn't i understand that like you shouldn't feel bad about the even if even if your feelings aren't complete completely valid like, yeah you shouldn't feel bad for the way that you feel, feel. Yeah. and you shouldn't and you shouldn't necessarily blame others for the way you feel but others shouldn't but you be also shouldn't beat yourself up yeah others should much. others shouldn't be upset with you for being open about the way you feel if you're mm -hmm. just like this is how i feel but yeah, I just think like I don't know. I for, I don't even know what the fuck I'm getting at. Like, yeah. I just sometimes I, I just start a sentence. I have no idea where it's going. Yeah, exactly. I just try <laughs> don't to try ever to find. <laughs> for any reason, whatsoever, no matter who you were with, or where you were going, or 
who you going with? What is it? It's like he's I forget like, what he well, says. where you're going to, ever, for any reason, whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, he just keeps like going. Sometimes on I just start a sentence. I have no idea where it's going. <laughs> just hope I find it along the way. I quote the Office way too much. That yeah, was from the too. Office. If anyone <laughs> didn't know. Yeah, I any, love that show. Yeah, haters out there. I haven't been wa- I haven't been watching it as much, but I used to put it on. I used to put it on every night before I went to sleep because mm-hmm. it's like good. I've, since I've seen every one of them, it's like really good background. Yeah. Yep. It's like really good background like noise. I'll laugh here and there. I'll be like, ha ha, like yeah. it's funny. <laughs> it's almost like white noise though because yeah. you're so used to hearing it. It really is. Yeah, I do that now with podcasts. I mean, I like I listen to the podcast, so but like Joe Rogan stuff. Yeah, like, I listen to a lot of Joe Rogan. Um, the Church, what's happening now, Joey Diaz. Mm-hmm. Joey Diaz. Uh, I love Joey is. Diaz. Fucking um, I listen to your mom's house a out. lot. That's um. <laughs> Tom Segura and his wife, Christina Pazinski. Um, I'll also listen to H3 a little bit, H3 podcast, but not as much. Uh, who else has a good, um, what's his name? Bobby Lee. Theo Vaughn. Yeah, Theo Vaughn. I haven't listened to his, but, like, Theo Vaughn's funny, man. Uh-huh. Like, he's so fucking funny. At first, I watched one of his specials, and, like, I couldn't really, like, vibe with him. I couldn't really figure out, like, what his deal was. But then, like, I started to realize that he's just, like, he just has this style, like he just thinks of like the weirdest like, things. Yeah, and I'm sure he writes. I'm sure he writes a lot, but like the way he delivers, it just seems so like natural. Just comes out of his head. Like he'll just like say like he'll just make the ra- most what random the analogies. Thing he said he was like, "Do you think you could stop like a baby could beat or, like all babies?" Oh. He's like, "Not most babies." He's oh, like, yeah. I'm like what?" Do you think? Do you think um? You think a baby could beat you up? He was like, "Not most." Not most. Babies. <laughs> yeah, it's not like most what? Babies a baby could beat you up. What did he say? He's like Vietnamese baby or something like that. (laughs) Vietnamese babies, you know, they're just crazy. I'm like, what? (laughs) (laughs) He said something. He was, he just tells like crazy ass stories. Like, or like I was watching, like I was watching a compilation today of like Lee Syatt from, um, from the uh, Church of What's Happening Now, just like going deep with like the edibles and just being super high. And Joey Diaz said something about like Lee, you're gonna electrocute yourself or something, or we don't want you getting electrocuted. And (laughs) uh, Duke Theo Von goes like. I got electrocuted when I was younger, man. And I was saved by a brother. <laughs> like, something like that. Like, he just tells, like, the craziest <laughs> fucking stories. But, yeah, I mean, I listen to a lot of those podcasts. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm kind of, like, into podcasting. But, like, I didn't really get into podcast. Like, it totally sounds cliche, like but, like, if I didn't listen to Joe Rogan, I would have never gotten into podcasting. Yeah. Uh, sorry That's to any- great. Jesus Sorry Christ. to anyone who's listening. There's, like, a, there's a, <laughs> somebody on a riding grass, mower yeah, cutting the grass. We have a, um, I live in, like, a condominium, um, kind of, like, a complex, I guess. townhouses. Yeah. And they have, um, they hire a landscaping company to come around. I'm pretty sure you got to pay for it. Contracting, yeah. Through your, like, utilities or just bills or whatever. But, um, they contract, like, a landscaping company, and they always come around. Somebody's back there with the weed whacker. That guy's whacking shit over there. Jesus. He's whacking them motherfucking weeds. I always thought about getting into landscaping. Dude, just I miss like landscaping, but sometimes job, but I miss landscaping. Cause it's good money, and it's like you're just in the zone all day working. Headphones in. Yeah, dude. I mean, the worst part is like you get in your head sometimes, and you get in your thoughts, and that's all you do is think. Yeah, like, yeah. Like I'm alone all the time now too, so it's kind of like the same. Yeah. I probably sound crazy to everyone who's watching. Nah, who doesn't know me. I'm sure everybody knows. This guy's like, like schizophrenic. Holy shit. Everybody's <laughs> been in their head before. I mean, yeah. I've like I've spent a lot of time in my head, and I feel like I've just done so much growing and like i like before where i used to be like before i really did a lot of like before i really went through a little bit like but i'll do like more active meditation like yeah. i'll like meditate like walking and if i'm walking or running or like sometimes i'll meditate like at my desk but like before i used to have just like a codependency to like just something else to other people like i felt like i needed something else to make me complete mm-hmm. whether that was like another person like money or shit like that but like once you really realize like true happiness can only come from within you know what i mean and true fulfillment only comes from self yeah and like have you ever looked into zen at all a little bit but so like the um how do i put it the main concept balance, of right? zen yeah balance is huge in zen and like that that i feel like that kind of i've incorporated that as far as just like balancing my life and priorities between friends and work and like relationships and things like that but like the main concept of zen is that nothing else exists like in the world right now nothing exists except for this moment so everything Mm -hmm. that everything in the past 
that already happened and that doesn't exist anymore and you know what i mean yeah so there's no point in worrying it's about that moment. and like people work people get so hung up on the past like all that was you know if you fucked it up in the happened. past that yeah. was just a learning experience like you just you, you're smarter now i'm big and on that the whole learning experience like yeah. people are so negative that's it where you kind of brought it up i'm sorry to cut no you go off, ahead but go like, ahead um, I just have a point, and I'm probably gonna forget it if I don't. That's fine. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, chest. yeah, go ahead. Um, but there's a lot of negative people, and they always like when something bad happens, they just complain. I'm like, oh, why does this always happen to me? Like, I never get the good. Like, never catch I'm, a break. I never catch a break. Like that kind of stuff drives me crazy because every like you know I I fuck up. I do stupid shit. Everyone I, does. Yeah, I mean like I'll, I say stupid shit. I do stupid stuff, and I uh, um like I'll just I won't like. I won't be like progressing at something that I want to be doing and, and I make a mistake but you know you, like literally everything is a learning experience like every little thing that yeah. like kind of like either ticks you off or kind of like you can do it a different way the next time and people don't understand that or you can just every moment you and that's where your brain that's just why where it kind of yeah. connects is like each moment people will complain about oh this isn't like I can't Oh, I can't sleep in this bed. It's too lumpy. I can't. Like, are you kidding me? Like, someone has it worse than me right now. Yeah, that's my somebody biggest always thing. No has it worse. No one's. A lot of people aren't grateful for what they have, and I mean, I do. You know, you do want to be successful and make as much money, I guess, as possible, and you know, be in the best financial situation for yourself. But at the same time, there's a lot worse things that are going yeah. on right now, and, and money can't. Be dead. Money can't that's buy you happiness. Exactly. Either. Like we forget so much because like, it's like, I was talking about this on like the last podcast. I think like how much like we all trust in the system and i mean if you look at it it's a pretty good system because it keeps people from killing each other mm -hmm. keeps things civil whatever but if you look at money it's really just a points it's like a monetary point system like and i i heard about them talking about this on fucking joe rogan so like i'm technically a hack right now but like i was talking about this on the last podcast like a good example like i went to the funplex a couple weeks ago with 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 you know the lady mm -hmm. and like we're just fucking like going around playing our little games whatever we get done and we have tickets and we go to the prize counter that's just like a micro like that's like a micro scale of like life if you think about it like it's just like a little um metaphor for life because like you walk in and you pay however much and i guess that more like you pay however much for your wristband that's kind of like your college degree mm -hmm. or if you do this or that or not even just that but like say like you get a little advantage if you pay a little more yeah and also like it doesn't have to just be in money like say your time like and like not to say like like i don't think it was a bad decision i don't think it was a bad idea for me to go to college i don't think it was a bad idea for you to join the military mm -hmm. Everyone but has been say how like you're you're giving in your time and effort to the military you're like being away from your family like that's almost like your payment mm -hmm. and then it's like you go around and you play these games and the games i look at them as like jobs or tasks or this or that you know to accumulate wealth and then you go to the prize counter and instead of getting like skittles or like a, a toy you're getting a car and a house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like people get so like caught kid, up. Yeah. Yeah. People get so caught up in the fucking material world. Like we forget to just stop and just breathe mm -hmm. and just like look at like the fact that you can even look at a tree or like smell a flower or just be outside. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Like people. Yeah. Like if you really think about it, and people like take the essentials like for granted so much. And nowadays, it's just like so many people just spend time just like stuck in front of a TV screen. And I mean, even me, a lot of the work that I do is on a computer screen, mm -hmm. but I still try to exercise all the time. I have to be outside. I can't, if I spend a whole day inside, I want to fucking kill somebody. Like, well, I, that's like I get how up. I am. Like, I, even with a car, it's like, I'll go walk outside and stuff. But like, I'm, I mean, I don't want to go out just walking outside by myself. I mean, I will go outside and go to the gym and stuff. I'm just like, ah. And yeah. like, sometimes I'll notice, I'm like, I've been sitting inside too long, and my blinds are closed, and I just have all this unnatural light, and I'll just open the windows, turn my lights off, and let the sun shine in, and I'll just That's feel like, awesome. this is nice. Yeah. I'll just feel like, yeah. And just I be, hate I get artificial relaxed. light. My mom loves it. Like, she'll turn on, like, she'll come in the house, like, I'll be sitting in my mom's I just house. I just forget that I'm yeah. just, like, a sun out there sometimes, like, shit. Yeah. Like, I might, damn. <laughs> I might be sitting in my mom's house, and, like, a nice natural light is coming in, and I'm sitting... At the, at the kitchen table on my laptop working or whatever and like my mom comes in the house and she flips the lights on and it's just bright she's yellow like, ah. i'm like what the fuck like she's like i can't see i'm like how can you like that's that's fucking dumb like how can you not see look at all that sun like yeah. it's all shining into the house like they used to not have artificial light you know what i'm saying they would light candles or just mm -hmm. like take advantage of the sunlight like but i mean yeah it's important to get like you know good vitamin c just makes you feel better when you get when you I get really a do. I just like I'll just take a deep breath and just ah, 
Yeah. That's nice. Just relax. Just like a nice breeze or like fresh air. Yeah. People take just, people take all this shit for granted. I love it. Yeah, like I like working outside though too. I'm glad that I work outside. I mean, as bad as the weather can be and how shitty it can be and how yeah. humid and it could be raining, it's just like sometimes I just like if it's really nice out, I'll be like, wow, look, it's like I, nice. Sometimes I it hits me to. when I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm just like, damn. Yeah. This is pretty badass. I used to like working outside, but I feel like I worked at the yard, the repo yard for a few years, and it's like, it can be really nice, but on those like hot days or on those cold, really it was the cold, cold days yeah. that would fuck me up. Yeah. But like, I just got, I felt like I just wanted to do a little something else. I mean, you know, but I get a balance too, because when I go mm -hmm. to play, I don't really work that many hours to play it again, and I'll go in there and it's like, I feel like it's lit well. It's like the feng shui, I like the feng shui in there. I like the people I work with. It's a good working environment. Mm -hmm. It's very chill. It's very low pressure. It's a, it's a fun place to be. And like always like I'll, I'll usually have things I'll have to do where I have to go out back and like enjoy like the weather. But then I'll go work in Camden at, Camden at night. And even though Camden kind of smells and stuff like <laughs> like just because of yeah. the trash and just yeah. fucking it's dirty. Like um, it's just really night peaceful to be outside on a summer night. You know what I'm saying? And nobody's bothering you. It's just, you yeah. don't have to deal with anybody. You just walk around and do your thing, like work with your friends. It's a fun job. Mm -hmm. And it pays pretty well. I mean, sometimes it can be a bitch when it's because it can be like we're doing a lot of walking, carrying around trash, throwing. Like it can be kind of taxing, but I enjoy it. It's yeah. a pretty fun job. But it's like, it's always good to have a good balance between inside and outside. Jesus, what the fuck is this guy doing? This guy's got a backpack blower. <laughs> nice. Out back. He's just fucking, you know, bulling. <sighs> but yeah, dude. It's good to get outside. Uh, yeah, me and Manny uh, got a little workout in today. Did a little, little bit of back and buys. More back, kind of finished on biceps. Yeah, it was pretty nice. A little bit of rear, a little bit of rear delt action. Just a, a lot of pulling, squeezing. Yeah. I did a, I had a rest day yesterday. I, it was technically yesterday was supposed to be my pull, and then mm -hmm. I was gonna do legs. But Are since my knees, legs? since my knees been kind of fucked up, and I worked, I like, I woke up with the, with you know the lady. Fucking, we got breakfast because like we just go to the di diner all the time, which mm -hmm. I don't mind. Yeah. Because like I I can go to the diner. You spending money. Yeah, like yeah, and I'm, but I mean, we kind of we split it pretty well. Like. Well, that's good. As a, as a man, I always expect to like pay a little bit more, which I really don't mind, but like, as long as she like knows to cut, you know, she's not that type where like, but you gotta be open about speaking about that stuff too, because it's like, if you're in any type of relationship and you don't talk about that. It becomes a weird thing, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like for example, like we went and then she then they just expect you to pay. Yeah, everything that was like my situation. Yeah, and well, like I just got yeah, kind of fucked in the ass. Yeah, man. Basically. Yeah, so you gotta right. you gotta watch with that shit. But like again, I learn, I learn, you know. Like, yeah, exactly. On it, it's whatever. Yeah, and you're Everyone, making like, good money. My balls about it. I'm you're just making like, good money anyway. You make that yeah. shit right back in a fucking day yeah. or whatever, like a week, whatever it is. But like. Yeah, like for example, like that the night before we got we had dinner, like we we had Taco Bell, like we brought Taco <laughs> Bell home, but like I got I got food, paid for it, and then like we went in the morning to the diner, she paid for it, but like I actually I like because like we'll go to the diner a lot, but I don't really mind it because even though it's not the best for me, I can still get eggs, and home yeah. fries are I always I, not too bad, pretty good carb, yeah, and then we usually we'll get like a chocolate chip like waffle or pancakes, that's kind of what fucks That's me up a little, a little bit, cheap. yeah, but like. It's still good. Some like some glucose, get some energy in there. Yeah, I got like a pimple. I pimple. Popped, and it's like yeah. Don't touch it, man. You're Dude, make like it worse. Feel it, yeah. yeah, just let it. Just <laughs> let it. Let it be. Let it doesn't. Be. Look, it doesn't look that bad though. It's pretty chilling. I mean, I get pimples. See the chubby sticker. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice. That came with um my shorts. Chubby, I have I have these chubbies. They're like. They're not the regular short chubbies. They're like the extra short. Like, <laughs> so they're like you gotta like up they're here. They're like up. Like, when I sit down, one time. I, sh I feel bad even saying this like on like on the podcast but one time I was at down at the beach with you know my girlfriend we get you know we're like in the car kind of like getting a little intimate whatever I looked down my dick was out like <laughs> like because I don't wear I don't wear underwear when I fucking I don't wear, wear a bathing suit either. I don't wear underwear when I wear bathing suit I just free ball yeah and that's like what, they're short that's what you're supposed to do. I thought that's what yeah for. I don't yeah know. they're short shorts and if you guys didn't know when a man gets aroused his you know penis gets hard and fucking it was out of it was like out of the pants like <laughs> just like chilling we were just like whatever like <laughs> kissing like fucking and I looked down and I'm like 
it's out. Like I was like, <laughs> it got my out. Whole it's day, like a dog. Yeah. It got out. And it was just poking. It. it was like, hey, like it was just like, like looking at us. So I was like, what the fuck? Like, but yeah, dude, those shorts are like dangerously short. <laughs> But I don't yeah. know. Ch- I chubbies are cool. Shout out to Chubbies. I no. don't actually shout out to Chubbies. <laughs> you shout yeah. out to the, the one video. You were shouting them out like every five minutes. You were shout out like, like just, just people. Through, yeah, just people. Like shout out Nealis. Yeah. Oh, did you hear about that? What happened? Bubba. Like someone, oh, he doesn't have it, but someone um, on his, like you know how they have Chromebooks now? Yeah. Well, like on, like Bubba had Nealis and he has them next year too. And like someone on the actual. uh oh, try to stretch them. On, the on like the just right, keep it on the there camera. just keep it on there yeah fuck it yeah uh he someone hacked into his like chrome get a uh, chromebook account and yeah yeah typed in <laughs> lick my clit and like mr <laughs> Neal, this is like uh mr giggy and i'm reporting you to the vice principal it was like uh, it was apparently did, they, they did think, bubba do it no but he thinks he was either hacked or it was zach oh wait like it was like on his his account like, yeah on like bubba's account clash yeah like on um, like, like my clit. He said, "Lick my clit." <laughs> hashtag lick, have, hash, let's, yeah. That'll be a podcast hashtag. Lick my clit. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and like so we fun. saw him. I saw him yesterday, but I don't think he saw us. <laughs> That's so I fucking funny, dude. I, I, I have it. I had him. Um, I had him my. Come on, please tell senior me. Senior oh, year. I didn't screenshot it. I had him my senior year for anatomy, and um. I remember Bruder. He, uh, yeah, I do remember Bruder. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but I'm like, dude, why do you have that? That's, Br- that's yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's a little, weird. little sus. Yeah. But, might, yeah. Wait, I saved it in the chat. I think I got it. Hold up. Yeah, like, fucking, um, I had him senior year, and I, like, I, I remember he gave us no. a, he gave us a research paper, and I was so lazy, it was, like, towards the end of senior year. I was like, if I didn't, didn't if do I don't, it, right? I was like, if I don't do this, like, what will my grade go out calculate to? And he did it for me, and he was like a seventy six or something. And you were like, okay. And I was like, all right, I'm not doing it. Like, and he was like, are you really not gonna? I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that shit. Like, whatever. And I didn't do it. And like, I don't know. He he was cool. I liked him, but he didn't like me because I would always be a smartass. Yeah. Like he's a smartass. Yeah, so like he two, is a smart you get two ass, smartasses yeah. in a room. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. And it just doesn't work out. Yeah. That was so funny when we did those skits for Mr. Highland. <laughs> Dude, the walk. I forgot how accurate I did the walk. Your your joke was funny because it wasn't even like, it didn't, it was, it, like, it wasn't per se a good joke or a great joke. Yeah. But that's what made it so funny because you were like, now let's just go in the back and yeah. touch each other. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, it didn't even. It was just not right. Yeah, like, it it, it didn't pertain to anything that a- they actually ever did. It, it didn't, was just, but it's just like, it yeah, that's what people think they do. So yeah. it's like. It was, it, but it was just funny because it was just very so blatant. Like, <laughs> it's very like, out there. You're like, now we're gonna longer. go and touch each other. Like, everybody was like, "What the fuck?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> like dude, I, they probably yeah. didn't expect that. And then me and Sean. Who was Bruder? Uh, it was like C Mac, or no? He was no, Miss Wierski. <laughs> I think it was like, um, was it Will? No. No, nah, he was Mr. Lawler. He was in our sketch. Oh, it was um. Did talk hmm. to? It wasn't Rob Vote, was it? I don't think so. You don't remember? You talked to him for like half the sketch, yeah, right? I don't, I don't have pictures of it. <sighs> Justin Clarkson. Oh, yeah. yeah Justin. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <It's> Justin. <laughs> Shout out to my man, Justin Clarkson. I Dude, that ball cap was so bad. <laughs> it was so what? bad. He like hung out with like, I had the beard. Well, you know what fucked your guys up is that one of the mics went dead, right? Oh, it was mine. You yeah, see, so you guys had to share. I went, yeah, yeah. You guys had to share a microphone. I was like that, 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 that's, like oh, and I was like fuck. <laughs> that's pretty bummy, yeah. 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 Shout out to the terrible fucking audio staff at Highland. Like, I mean, I don't know the guy. I'm not gonna say his name, but the guy who did it, he was a really cool guy. Like, he was a nice guy, but it was his first time setting all that shit up. And oh, I remember. Yeah. You're just gonna have technical difficulties, especially. When you have wireless microphones, they're so tricky. Yeah. Like wired, mu- like if it was up to me, we would have just gotten like. like I mean, the, it's kind of earbud, like, like huge. E- yeah, either clip-on, like clip-on style mics like this, like body mics or like something like this, or like um, even just like mics with huge long XLR cords. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of weird that we had to hold microphones. Like it would have been. It kind of threw me off. It kind of threw like, off the sketch. Yeah. Because it's like you know, you're trying to do one thing with your body, but you're just sitting there holding the mic. Holding a mic, it's not natural for acting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but like something like this would be perfect. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy that these actually worked out. I had a feeling they were going to be a bust. Bust, but yeah. Seems like they're working pretty well, so I'm pretty happy about that. 
Oh, shit, man. But yeah, we got a good workout in today. Did some back training. I'm trying to get more consistent in the gym again. I think I kind of like the push-pull legs thing because I feel like it makes you work everything twice a week. And I know some people do that already with, yeah. like, a full bro split style. But, like, I yeah, just, I just don't. do body parts. Yeah, yeah. So it's, I like, mean, arms, but, chest, yeah. back, legs. Okay. See, I, would, I used to split up, like, I would do, like, my abs and calves together. And then just do, when I did legs, it was basically just squatting. So, like, quads and mm -hmm. hamstrings, shit like that. But, like, I've been switching it up. I'm trying to train my neck more. I, I know that sounds ridiculous to people who don't train. And probably to some people who do train. Like, it kind of sounds ridiculous to me. But, like, it's good to, like. always fucking sore. Because, like, well, it's because you're always looking. And you're always under load. And you're, you're twisting it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm telling you, that's not a good idea. Yeah. As much as it's cool to, like, look at your posture and watch your pump. Like. Just get in, get out. You know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's more important just, like, to keep yourself healthy. But I've been trying to do some more, like, neck training because, like, I've noticed, obviously, your neck will grow a little bit just from, like, working out and doing compound movements and shit. But, like, when you're fucking, um... This is, I'm just going to stop empty. doing this. Yeah, this man. Fucking it's fucking stupid. fucking me up. This shit's empty. But, like, um... What's it called? Like, if you don't train your neck and you train everything, it'll just stay kind of... And it's hard to really build up, like, a huge neck. And you don't want a huge neck, but aesthetically, it's, it's more like pleasing to have, like, something... That, like, you don't want to have, like, a like a pencil neck. Yeah. You know what I'm snack, saying? Yeah. Like, like, generally, it's, like... You'll see even skinny dudes, like, it looks more aesthetically pleasing if they have, like, like a... Oh, I just farted. I wonder if the mics picked <laughs> that up. Christ. But, like... <laughs> but, like, um... Those ribs make you fart, dude. Yeah. We, had, we had some, and protein shake too. We had some ribs and chicken, potatoes when we got done, and some pro chocolate, pro chocolate banana protein shakes. That'll yeah, make anybody shit their yeah. pants. Like, but you know, it's good, pretty good gains. But for sure, yeah, it's good to have like a little bit of a thicker like aesthetic neck. And I mean, if you lift, like obviously, your neck is gonna look maybe kind of small compared to like the rest of you from like the side or something from that. But I mean, I don't know. I think I'm just in my at head a lot. Have, like, yeah, at least I don't really think about my neck that much. I don't know. Yeah. That's nah, not one of the things. I think about my baby legs. That's about it. Me too. Me too, a little bit. But I kind of, I don't know. Like, I don't I've kind of worked up like, my I'm calves defined, a little bit. but that doesn't mean shit. I yeah. Wanna, I want to have solid. I want to have, like, fucking skull crushing Well, legs. you know what? It's funny, because, like, um, my, uh, like, my girlfriend and, like, her mom and shit apparently have said that like my legs are like really look really muscular and I don't sometimes I'm like I don't get it I feel like I just have normal yeah. but they said no it's this like the quadralis quad, medius yeah. like that inside part of the quad mm -hmm. if you have that then apparently like it pops like pretty well but it's funny since my knee swole up like this you look my big. left knee swell, you swole up eh, you could say that <laughs> but I think like it takes away the definition from yeah, like this true. more because like this part here is swollen or this yeah. part is swollen but like I got bony ass knees <laughs> Me too It doesn't look like it right now though Because it's swollen Yeah But like Yeah fucking I gotta start working my legs more Like I don't know See like I look at my calves And I'm like oh they're not that bad And then I look in the mirror And I'm like oh shit Yeah I'm afraid to work legs with Dawson I've seen some of the shit that they do Like We'll just do like I mean he's just like Such high volume With like yeah. pretty heavy weight Like I would do it I think I could and, like, I haven't really been squatting that heavy either. Like, Neither have I. Like, I, I was kind of doing, with no spotter, I would maybe do 5x5s five five or 5x8s five yeah. with, like, 225, mm -hmm. where I definitely think I could do more, but, like, I just don't feel comfortable putting 315 on my back yeah, with nobody yeah, around me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because as soon as something goes wrong. 25 is the most I've done and probably will do. I don't know, I'll do, like, 5, but it's just, like, and that was a little bit ago, and I was actually training legs, like, consistently. Yeah, So yeah. it's, like. Since my PT test has fucked everything up, because I was trying to not Lean train legs, I'm trying to run, like, run and yeah. not be sore. Yeah, exactly. And then, like, now That's I'm a just, huge like, thing too. Yeah. Just not being sore. I actually did pretty well on my PT test. I got a 97. What, is, what exactly did you have to do? Uh, you run a mile and a half. You do. You gotta get as many push-ups as you can in a minute, and as many sit-ups as you can in a minute. It's not bad. Yeah, I got 60. Six push-ups. That's less than I did in BMC. That's I mean, like more than. Less, that's more than one push-up a second. That's yeah. pretty like fast. That's pretty good. In BMC, I had like eighty-seven. Yeah, it was See, fucking stupid. That's basically like cardio for your arms at that point. Yeah, that's, that's not, pretty wild. Yeah. And then sit-ups, I did like. I think I got like fifty-four. That's pretty which good. Isn't bad, but sit-ups are harder to do quicker. Quicker, you yeah. Like, the more range of motion. It's yeah. Like less time. And I ran a mile and a half in ten minutes, which isn't bad, but it's. See, um, 
it's BMT I ran 913, which is yeah. Like, See, I think I feel like I could beat your running, but I don't think I could beat your push ups or sit ups. Just because, like, I just feel like because with running, like, I have a pretty long stride, and like, I'm actually like, I, well, that's my thing. I, like, I'm short, but I do, and yeah, I have like power. Like, I don't have strong legs, but I have power, just in like my quick, lung, yeah, yeah. Like, I I never got into I did track when I was like five or six and mm -hmm. I was terrible at it. I didn't understand the concept of like running of just a track. Run. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck is this? But like, as I got a little older and I was playing deck hockey and stuff, I was and I was getting taller and just like being like tall and lanky. Like, I was actually pretty fast, but I never really like did anything with it. Mm -hmm. But I really wish I would have ran in high school, like track or something. Because I, I remember we would run the mile for like we'd run the mile for um, gym. And I wouldn't go super hard, but I would still run it. Yeah. Like, jog it. And I would do, like, a six-and-a-half-minute mile. So I feel like I could run pretty well, whereas, but with, like, the push-ups and the sit-ups, I feel like I would have more distance to travel, and I wouldn't be able to get as yeah. many done. But, I mean, that's pretty good, fucking 66 push-ups in 60 seconds. I don't think I could do them that quick. I'm surprised they don't, like, time. I'm I, I would think that they wouldn't time you, and they would just see how many you could do to failure or something. Well, see, that's the thing. It's like the whole timing aspect of it is you have to do it in a quick. I mean, it's not real. It doesn't really make any sense because that's like that's not really real strength. Yeah, it's just yeah. it's cardio and just oh, you can lift your body weight. Yeah, off yeah. The ground. Yeah, I wonder. I well, you know why? Because they're probably they don't want you to. They, no one. If you ever see combat, they're not going to need you to lift three hundred pounds off the ground. Yeah. They're just going to need you to be able to pick yourself up and especially in you know dire straits like mm -hmm. they're gonna need you to pick yourself up off the ground and run away sure. or like you know this or that mm -hmm. I, I mean honestly the test is probably pretty archaic just because like think about 40 years ago 50 years ago not that many people were in the gym lifting like it was yeah. more just like can you do push-ups can you do sit-ups you're fit you know what i'm saying because think about like how less fit people were back like well, how much how much physical activity and like you know physical training has progressed yeah it's like mental health too you know, yeah exactly stuff like like med people weren't meditating like 20 years ago like they yeah are now, like people weren't regularly. um checking up on concussions back yeah, then exactly back then you had a headache yeah now exactly. like people actually know like that you know your yeah, brain is hitting like, against fucking, your skull what was that called like ct something like cte cte yeah a lot of football players get that yeah yeah shit Dude, is not that, good for you that's i mean i understand that the whole football thing but as i mean a football fan uh, I think the amount of rules that they put in that shit, I get it. You know, you're trying to protect the players, but they're really not. They're just trying to make profit because they're putting all these roughing the passer penalties in place. But, I mean, that doesn't stop the hits from happening because yeah. you move so fast. It's such. A, it's like kind of like hockey. It's such a fast-paced game. Yeah. You're not going to eliminate those hits. You're yeah. just going to – It's play-by-play, play, so it's not like – it doesn't flow per se, yeah. but – play, but Play, but these guys are going to get more hurt quickly, yeah. trying to stop themselves. Like William Hayes, one of the Dolphins' DNs, literally was he tore his Achilles because he tried to, he didn't want to, he didn't fall on Derek Carr because he had to pull up and stop real quick. This is like a 300 pound dude, 350 pounds, you're gonna yeah. fall on Derek Carr. I mean, I get that, you know, you don't yeah. want to, but I think an Achilles is gonna be a little worse than three, yeah. maybe two broken ribs. I also never liked the fact that like they'll automatically give you like how like if you get a roughing the passer is it like 15 yards 15 and yards like now that's like fine almost automatically or like it's suspension if the hit's dumb. bad enough i understand they're trying to protect their quarterbacks but that's because the money you know because that's a selling yeah. point like that year and that rogers and everyone got hurt and like yeah and i mean i get that because it's a business it's an entertain yeah all, all sports like we, we, get, we get so caught up in sports but these people really aren't working in sports. They're working mm -hmm. in entertainment. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? All these athletes are working in yeah. entertainment. And, like, but also they understand all of the risks when they enter the league. And that's why they I play. think they um, regulate it, I guess you could say. Regulation is a good word for it. Uh, they kind of, like, try to crack down on it. And I just think that's because these guys have been playing football their whole lives, and they obviously know what they know, they're risking. Yeah, they, and they know that their careers are probably going to be short. Yeah. They know, like from the start, they know that they're probably only going to last 10 years in the league. Not even. That's Most, the, the average it's NFL. Like two. It's like two. It's like two or three. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you're playing on the line or if you're doing anything where you're just getting hit all the time. Yeah. Yeah, shit's crazy. I mean, I feel like D-backs and, like, wide receivers, stuff like that, they have a little bit more time 
as long as they can no, stay. No, it's the other way around, actually. Well, really? running backs have the least amount of time. Yeah, they, Quarterbacks, they just, if you're good, yeah. they have longevity. Linemen and D-linemen actually last longer because they're so big. And I guess, like, they're getting – It's hitting. not, like, head-on-head. Head. It's, like, hands. It's yeah, a lot of it's hand just a contact. lot of pushing and sumo kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, the so. receivers are the ones who – the receivers and running backs cracked. are getting hit, lit up. Yeah. And, like, their targets. And running can, backs especially because they're getting hit every, every single play. play. Yeah, and running, single play. yeah, running backs are always just like, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, receivers are targets. That makes sense. They have more, like, of a head yeah. problem because, you know, you're running down the field. Or even defenders, you know, they hit head-on-head collision. That's that's one I understand. But at the same time, it's really hard to stop if you're already heading towards them and you try to pull up or try to do something and then you don't know what they're going to do. So yeah. it's like, how can you really anticipate exactly what they're going to do, you know? Yeah. Any, any sport like that, you're kind of like understanding the risks. Like, it's like ice hockey, dude. Yeah. Fucking hockey is a crazy sport. Yes. Like, also because like, um, not only are the hits, not only because like when, not only are guys getting up to crazy speeds. Like, mm-hmm. like some guys get up to like 30 miles per hour on like skates, which doesn't sound like a lot, maybe. But when you put it in perspective, like, nobody can run 30. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like. When you, and if two guys are both going, say, almost 30, like 25 to 30 miles per hour on skates and they hit each other at the same time, like all of that force like together, crash, yeah. yeah, and then you're hitting your head against the ice. Or like, any, like I remember when I was playing roller hockey and I was 12, the first like travel game I ever played with my one team, there was this kid that I played with. His name's Colin Gardner. Shout out to him. Um, he got the first game I ever played with him. I forget if he got hit or if he fell or something. He fell back on his head. And got a concussion, and he was never the same again. Like, never played again. Um, had problems with school. Like, never really. He, like, had, I think there was a long period of time where he had to get homeschooled or he was in and out of school. Had a lot of headache, migraine problems. Like, couldn't focus in school. Like, it really, and some people get a concussion, and they're they're out for a couple of weeks, and they're or right they back get, in. Or they get, like, epilepsy from it, and they yeah. get, like, have, like, seizures and shit and affects, yeah. like, certain parts of the brain. It, some, it's some it's people, no joke. It really fucks them up. Yeah, you got to be careful with that shit, man. That's why I want my kid to play, like, golf. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, I mean, if my Would kid... Would consider jacking off to be a sport? <laughs> 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 oh, like, um, EDP. Yeah, 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 EDP. Yeah. Like, I just want my... Like, I don't know. If my kid wants to play hockey or football, I'm not going to tell him no. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to fucking make sure that he can just do it safely. And, like, if my kid's going to play a sport, like, I understand there's skinny kids that are, like, when you're a kid that are good at sports. Mm-hmm. But if my kid's going to play a sport, I'm going to make him exercise. Big, yeah. Not even uh, big, but just, like, I'm going to... Make sure he's in shape. Make sure he's in shape. Make sure he lifts enough. That's another... That's, like, a whole other part of, like, neck training is, like, if you train your neck and, like, kind of, like, get your traps in your neck sturdy enough to, like, be able to support your head well... So that way, if you're ever hitting your head and other people, like, just, yeah, that's a huge part of it. Oh, damn. What are we at? Like, 43? This is, I mean. I gotta pee. Yeah, it's a little bit of a, it's a little, little bit of a shorter one, but I kind of been hitting around, like, the 40, 45 minute mark. I feel like we take it a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm, I mean, some of them, like, the one with Kevin and Mark was, like, two hours, over two hours. Yeah, obviously, we're not going to get to that. Yeah. There's not as many people, but. Yeah, the last one with Sean, why, yeah. And, like, you know, the last one with Sean was, like, 38 minutes. It was short and sweet. Yeah. But it happens. I mean, it's that's the cool thing about podcasts is that, like, you don't have to have a regulated. Some people yeah. some people are more formal with it. Try to go, like, a They'll certain They'll be like, time. we have an hour, and then they plan out their schedule, which mm-hmm. is cool. But this is just a fucking rap sesh. Yeah, you know what exactly. I mean? We just talk. We just talk while. about shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but damn, man. So, um, you came in. You came back a couple days ago. How long are you here till? I'm here till July 6th. July 6th. So, I'll be here for a little bit. I'll maybe definitely have you on another things. one. Maybe like if With not next, boys. if not next week, maybe in two weeks or something. Mm-hmm. But we'll do a couple. You know yeah. what I mean? Got to get your boys. Sh- if you want to shout out any of your boys back in Georgia, do it now. Shout out any- Coffee. Shout Clark out Coffee. Shout, shout out Coffee. Name. Shout out Maloney. Maloney from Harper. Harper. Bryce Harper. No, this is his, <laughs> this is his daughter. Oh. She's gonna be a year. Oh, awesome, yeah, man! Little, little Congratulations. Yeah, she's cute. That's all. That's amazing, dude. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, yeah, good for you, bro. Oh, awesome. Uh, yeah. Awesome. And Nahara. Shout out Nahara. Yeah, shout That's out to Nahara. And Cali. Nice. Yeah. Get that Cali weed. Dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He actually grew. Really? That's dope. Prior. But it's legal in California, so. Yeah, bro. If you're ever in Cali, hit me up. Bring me some. <laughs> yeah. You know, talking to your, your boy. But 
Yeah, dude. I mean, you know, thanks for coming on. I really appreciate it. We've just yeah. been chilling. Yeah, it's it's awesome. good to see you again. I haven't seen you in like fucking months. Yeah, dude. So yeah, it's awesome. Good to see you. Yeah. All right, everybody. Peace. It's a boy. Uh, you know, Skinny penis. Uh, live and let live. Uh, praise Jeebus. Uh, and you know, skinny penis. Just spread love all over the world, all oh, over yeah. the country, all over everywhere. Love you guys. Peace. Thank you.